Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we are taking a look at one of the biggest turtles that ever lived, the Carbonemis. This giant turtle was discovered in 2005 in the coal mine in Columbia by Edwin Cadena, a PhD student from North Carolina State University. He named the species Carbonemis, which means carbon turtle, since coal is essentially fossilized carbon. Carbonemis dated from around 60 million years ago, around 5 million years after the disappearance of the dinosaurs in the KT extinction event. The discovery included a complete skull measuring 24 centimeters, roughly the same size as a regulation size NFL football, and a partial shell measuring 172 centimeters, or about 5 foot 7, making the Carbonemis about the same size as a smart car. It would have weighed around a thousand pounds, that's a little over 450 kilos. During the time period that Carbonemis lived, there were several examples of huge reptiles in this area of South America, including Titanoboa. Researchers believe that a combination of changes in the ecosystem, including fewer predators, a larger habitat area, plentiful food supply and climate changes, worked together to allow these giant species to survive. Carbonemis habitat would have resembled a much warmer modern-day Orinoco or Amazon River Delta. The form of the shell is very interesting as it indicates that Carbonemis would have been a member of the Pleuridae, a group better known as the side-necked turtles. Side-necked turtles tend to have proportionately longer necks than other turtles, which means that they are too long to retract inwards under the shell. Because of this problem, these turtles instead bend their necks to one side, so that they lay against the body and under the ridge of the upper shell, hence the name side-necked turtle. The skull shows that Carbonemis had very powerful jaws. Its bite would have been powerful enough to crush bones, which means it could have eaten anything from mollusks, fish, smaller turtles or even crocodiles. However, it could have used its powerful bite to kill animals, crop vegetation or perhaps both. We can't even get clues from modern turtles of the same family, as some are carnivores and others are herbivores. The only way we could tell is if we were to discover the stomach contents of several specimens, which so far haven't happened. Thus far, only one specimen of this size has been recovered. Researchers believe that this is because a turtle of this size would need a large territory in order to obtain enough food to survive. A modern equivalent would be like having one big snapping turtle living in the middle of a lake. That turtle survives because it has eaten all of the major competitors for, the, for resources. Among the fossil finds at the site of the Carbonemis discovery, the scientists found many bite mark shells that show crocodilians preyed on side neck turtles. None would have bothered an adult Carbonemis though. Turtles are not a common source of food for snakes either, as snakes usually swallow their prey whole and the turtle shell often makes this difficult. It would also make it possible for the turtle to attack from inside the snake, not pleasant for the snake. However, as always in nature, there are exceptions. It has been known for some snakes to prey on turtles, and of course some turtles will eat snakes. It's unclear whether Titanoboa would have been able to prey on the juvenile Carbonemis, or if the two animals kept out of each other's way. I mentioned earlier that the Carbonemus was one of the biggest turtles to have ever lived. But there have been bigger. Surprisingly, a turtle from modern times holds the record as the largest ever turtle. A leatherback turtle, which is now on display at the National Museum in Cardiff, was washed ashore on Harlech Beach, Gwynedd in Wales in September 1988. Sadly, the turtle had drowned after being trapped in fishing lines. It was approximately 100 years old when it died. The turtle attracted worldwide attention as it was the largest and heaviest turtle ever recorded, measuring almost 3 meters, about 9 foot in length, and weighing 914 kilos, just over 2,000 pounds. Well, that brings us to the end of today's talk, and as always, I hope you've enjoyed it and you've learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment, and maybe share this video with someone else you think might find it interesting. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and please come back next week for another talk here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.